My name is Kirsten Hansen. I am a pediatrician working in Eastern Mali. MSF has been working a lot in the surrounding areas to help the Ministry of Health to be able to set up little vaccination campaigns in the different villages. The rainy season is also the farming season, and so the mothers are usually out in the fields, and so it's really hard for them to take a, a day away from the field, or if it rains on that day, and it's really hard for them to get into the site. Even by car, it can take a lot longer. It's definitely not an easy journey. If they live in a village where there is not a local vaccine campaign, then they may have to go even further away. The hospitals are filled with children with vaccine-preventable diseases. One of the major challenges that we face here is the lack of health professionals that can do the administration of the vaccines and that can also uh, transport the vaccines correctly. Today, most vaccines require cold chain, meaning they have to be refrigerated at a specific temperature to be uh, valid. This is, of course, a logistical nightmare in most of the countries where we are working, where electricity is poor, refrigeration is difficult, and so on. What we need is vaccines that are easier to deliver and also easier to administer to the children. In the first year of their lives, children must receive vaccines five separate times. It can be extremely difficult for children and their caregivers to come so often if they live far away from a vaccination point or cannot afford the cost of transportation. <laughs> This child comes from a village very far away. So when I asked the mother if Lesina had been vaccinated, she explained to me that he was able to get the first couple of vaccines in this series of childhood vaccines. But then it was very complicated to get further doses. There were repeated shortages. And so it was very difficult for her to keep bringing him back, never knowing if the shot would be available or not. The doctors immediately recognized signs of meningitis and did a spinal tap. Unfortunately, the treatment was too late, and the illness had already had too much of an effect on his brain. Unfortunately, he will likely soon die of this illness. If the parents are able to get a child to the vaccine center, it may be that that day that they're out of it. And so they have to try to come back a month later. Depuis que MSF a impliqué, a mis en place un système pour transporter l'équipe vaccinée, de plus en plus de mères viennent se faire vacciner, viennent faire vacciner leurs enfants, de même que les femmes enceintes aussi. Donc il y a une bonne amélioration dans la couverture vaccinale avec notre implication. Despite all of our efforts, one in five children worldwide are not receiving proper vaccinations. Clearly, the way in which we immunize children in developing countries desperately needs to change. It's not exactly rocket science, you know, it's easy. If all the children could have access to those vaccines, then we would have much less work in the hospital. I mean, mortality would go down and morbidity as well. There would be less sick children. Improving vaccination coverage will require researching, developing, and producing easier to use products adapted for the developing countries and the various strains of diseases found in those countries. What we would like to see is the development of single dose vaccines, oral vaccines, and of course, most importantly, vaccines that do not require the cold chain. These types of developments would greatly help us to immunize so many more children. On aurait une couverture presque à 100% pour, pour nos enfants. C'est ce que nous souhaitons. Je pense que ça, 
le futur est le plus rayonnant.